Good morning, good morning guys. Welcome back. Okay, let's see what we have today. First things first, uh, let's take a look at UJ. Uh, being saying about UJ since yesterday, I've been waiting for this to drop. Add some cells here yesterday. But it dropped only 10 pips was not not enough for me and uh, they left a big wick i think it should drop to fill that that wick so right now we are at resistance you are at resistance let me take a look i still think this should continue down but it might take some time fingers there's still a small chance that it comes to test this mm, broken uh, consolidation yesterday so let me take a look how many pips i have around here Okay, so I'm going to take some cells on UJ and it's going to be 6 pip uh, stop loss only just above this previous wick and we'll see I'm going to go for daily wick fill as my extended target and let's see We got rejected from this resistance here a few times now, but still couldn't continue that much to the downside. And I still think there's a chance that this will continue down. But it's taking some time, of course. It's UJ. It takes time. The only thing is that this might push higher. Still around here at 6.30, maybe. So my plan is, if price comes higher at 6.30, maybe I'll take another entry after and uh, extend my stop loss at 10 pips maybe. But let's see. Gonna have to see if we get ejected from here would be great but as i said there's a bit still a chance that this might come at this resistance deeper to test it even though we had we had the first we had the first rejection Yeah, it doesn't want to drop. It's taking too much time. See this candle yesterday or last night on Asian session already made the deeper retest. Even though after this rejection, I thought it's going to continue down, but it didn't. I think maybe it's time, now it's the time. So we're going to see how it's going to react at this, this point. The trade I'm um, taking the trade based on this of course uh, it's not 
it's not a classic breaking retest because it's a second retest. So on a second retest, you use small smaller risk than usual. Yes, yes, Amin spells. Whenever you see this activated on the candle, you know that I'm um, on cells. This one here tells you that I'm in a trade. And I also said, so maybe you didn't hear me, you came late, but yeah, I'm in cells. I'm gonna see. Like I said, it's the second retest, so lower risk. Also, it's a small stop loss. So let's see. I said, uh, Price can come higher, deeper in this uh, this zone here. So if that happens, I'm gonna move my stop at 10 pips maybe. We'll see. But if price comes above this resistance, then there's a chance that comes deeper to make the retest of this yesterday consolidation box which didn't have a retest at all. But uh, just looking at the daily, it it really doesn't make too much sense to make that huge retracement to the upside. Left a very big wick yesterday and uh, think it should continue down, fill that range to the downside. Gonna have to see how big the, the pullback is gonna be. You see on the daily the wick UJ left, it's pretty big. Now, I'm just gonna see how big the pullback is gonna be. Yeah, we'll see. Just gonna put my stop at 10 pips. Don't wanna get stopped and be too late to modify my stop loss. So We'll see. Okay, we have a chart. Let's take a look. Okay. 
EJ. Yeah, that looks perfect. EJ looks perfect. Looks like I'm gonna keep an eye on that if we do get a breakout. Where's EJ? Let's take a look at EJ. Yeah, EJ looks very nice. We'll see if we do have a break. Can I have a break here or not? If we close above that, you can easily continue and fill this range. We had a lot of rejections here, so once this candle closes above, we might have a nice push to the upside. So we're going to have to wait and see. UJ it doesn't make sense this to go up I mean there's one thing that worries me is that it got rejected from support here on the daily and there's there's chances of going up of course but I still think it's gonna continue down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close UJ. I'm going to close UJ. It's still at my break, uh, my entry, so it hasn't moved one pip in drawdown. So not going to risk it. It's a second retest, and I better wait for a better confirmation. So what would be a better confirmation for you J cells is if we get ejected here from this resistance and then this four hour candle or the next one comes all the way down below this, then I will start to think about cells. I think this would be the safest way to trade UJ at this point. Yeah, so only if get rejected from resistance, that would be one confirmation. The next candle to close below this support that was formed and the retest to continue down, that would be perfect. But as for now, I would I would be more comfortable being out of this. What time frames you use looking for trend entry except one hour, four hour daily, no less than one hour. These are my rules only one hour and up. AUDSD, it went perfect yesterday, didn't stop my, uh, my runner the rain just as we expected it was perfect today what do we do we clean charts and we see what we have let's take a look at the four hour four hour is at this support here plenty of zones on ADSD yeah we'll see because it looks like AUD is the rejected from this resistance here there's no trade on AUD USD for now GJ can be a nice 
trade to if we do close below 133.200 that would be great would see a nice push to the downside so close below a retest and continuation would be very nice but let's see we need we need a close below so we're gonna have to wait there are already a, a lot of rejections so GJ can give us some quick pips to the upside I don't see much only I would be comfortable with cells below the zone GU, let's take a look at GU. Four hour at resistance, one hour. I think. You're talking about this zone, right? Pretty sure you're talking about this. Yeah, we're gonna have to see. Yeah, looks like a good opportunity too. On GU and GJ both. Both can be nice, nice setups. Yeah, let's wait and see. GU, GJ, some good setups coming. EJ also, only that EJ are the opposite. Uh, for me, maybe GJ would be better. GU has like a small range between these two zones you can see from here to here to have eight pips range between from this support to this resistance now if we do want a trade here we need to close all the way below this then the retest should be should be at this broken support if it does and continuation to this next zone so a close below this won't won't be good because we're still going to be between this these two ranges here so we need to close above this uh, below this sorry if we want to take a trade here we need to close above then the retest now when the retest comes you might have a bigger push here in between this but uh, a 20 pips stop loss would be enough because this is only 7 
8 pips maybe range so 20 pips stop loss would be perfect that's why maybe it would be better uh, to take GJ because GJ is a lot more better and it's clean gonna have to wait and see Dennis hello welcome Let's see. AJ is rejecting a bit. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe if we get a good drop, a strong close, a bearish candle, we might consider some sells. Gonna have to wait and see. Let me take a look at NZD CAD, what happened. Okay, we had another drop. Still in this big consolidation. Okay, it looks like we had a breakout yesterday. I missed this. Didn't see this. But looks like it's coming down again. Yeah, it closed back in the range. It's been so long at this range. I have to wait and see what happens. Maybe finally today it's going to drop and break this consolidation to the downside or maybe just continue. See the daily wasn't a good breakout. Daily only closed a few pips, small. Yes, yeah, six, seven pips above. It wasn't enough for this to continue. See the next candle came all the way back down. In the range but uh, the day is not over yet so this can still go up for me now I would like a, a close below the support because this four hour candle pretty big came all the way down in this pretty good range almost 50 pip drop to the downside we might see what happens here we have a minor zone here that needs to break before going down. See how we got rejected from this? You have plenty of rejections that tell you that we have a middle zone here. Because it's pretty big consolidation. 70 pip range. Pretty big. So we'll see. JPY pairs. I don't know. We might see a drop on a continuation on JPY pairs. Not sure about GJ, but on UJ, especially. Gonna have to wait and see. GJ can can give us a quick trade. And not let let us out, let us uh, wait for too long. New York session yesterday was very, very boring. Nothing happened, basically. It was only consolidation. 
only that we had a big drop on USD JPY out of nowhere but didn't give us a retest at all it just dropped and dropped no pullbacks except this one today but we have to wait and see what happens let's take a look at USDCAD USDCAD made a fake out yesterday can't say it was a fake out because we got rejected from this support here and we didn't take sales yesterday on my group just because of this the retest of this zone didn't come didn't come uh, straight uh, from the breakout candle it's it first dropped to this next zone then came and that's why got resulted in a fake out GBP CAD nothing much still at this resistance let's see Eurocad, I've, I've deleted this pair from my watch list a few weeks ago. Oh wow, looks like I was waiting for a break above and it went perfect. Anyway, I missed this, but who cares? So I think you're, you're talking about a close above this. I think the breakout is too weak. It's too weak, but this zone is pretty strong. If we have a break above, then yeah. Uh, Tyler, I think we we missed this move. It's already done. Cause on the one hour, this was the breakout candle. It made the retest, and. It only moved 17 pips. Yeah. It was a good setup. You, you saw it. So the move is already done. See, we got rejection here. Even though this still should continue up. I mean, if we stay, if we stay above this level, it's a pretty strong level. I've seen price how how it reacts on this level. You can see every time it came here how big the moves were. 250 pips. Again came all the way up. 200 pips. Dropped another 200 pips. Then when we had the breakout 130 pips. You see when when you look at the level which you just look at the moves that happened after rejecting that level that just tells you how strong this zone is i think uh, entering on eurocad after the first move would be risky ej is rejecting UJ will be my my next setup here. Just waiting for maybe this to go bearish, close good, a strong close. Then we might take a position. Uh, AUD USD is breaking below support. We could see a retest in 30 minutes. Well, I don't know about uh, AUDSD. Uh, this support is uh, 
I don't uh, I don't know if it's uh, good enough for us to take a trade at this support even though we have a lot of rejections here also below we'll see AODSD is a mess for now yesterday we had a clean setup now a lot of rejections a lot of retracements in between it's been a mess the best would be let's see if it comes above this and then we would have a nice range to fail here this this would be the best for me I think and I would be very comfortable taking this level instead of trading in the middle of this small range there so yeah I'm gonna wait and see what happens we have plenty of setups coming when did you take the AOD trade for 30 pips? the AOD USD trade for 30 pips we took it yesterday on London session you can watch the previous webinar the previous live stream you can see where we took it it was this here so we had we had this zone here this candle here this bullish candle closed back in the range made the retest and this was our entry here it went all the way up 30 pips made a small retracement here and it went all the way up within the range just like we expected now the whole move was let me see how many pips 60 pips range was the whole move it was very nice would you trade a break and retest on 30 minutes on euro jpy no i wouldn't I wouldn't take a trade on 30 minutes because uh, my rules are only one hour and up no 30 minutes for me okay you're thinking about this this retest on the 30 minute well basically it's it's a perfect retest but it's just uh, I would better wait for one hour to close when one hour closes would be way more comfortable to take it let's see there's a few minutes left uh, until the, the candle closes then we'll make a decision have nothing uh, against uh, lower time frames it's just um, I made my rules about my trading style and lower time frames are not on it so I'm gonna stick to my rules
Okay, let's take a look at GA. Yesterday we were waiting for a break and retest of this consolidation box. Did a breakout but no retest. Then it looks like it came back in the range. Made a retest to continue up. Now, this break and retest, you see it didn't it didn't go too long, didn't go too far, but let's take a look at the pips. Yeah, almost 15 pips. It's rejected, but not enough. Then close back in the range. Went all the way down. Now still the same thing applies today. We still need a break below or above this resistance. Yeah, still having rejections. Look at these candles. Still rejecting the support. I'm gonna wait and see what happens here. Can give us some nice tips if it does break. You can see yesterday after the breakout, it's a big move, almost 100 pips drop, but there was no retest here, so we can get a chance to get in. It only dropped right, right away. Take a look at EU. The retest, the break and retest yesterday worked perfectly. The only reason I didn't take it is because it got rejected from this resistance here. Now, looks like we had a break and retest of this uh, zone here, but we also got rejected from resistance, so we have to be very careful. Eh? We have to be very careful. All these things plays plays a role on on the chart. Cause just it's a logical thing if if you see price that got rejected all the way from this big resistance, you wouldn't feel comfortable taking a retest here. Because you could see this big bearish candle all the way down close to right here. You wouldn't be comfortable holding that position normally. So that's why I also didn't take it. Now here we have an option if price continues up. We might get a chance here to enter if we get closed above, then a retest to continue up and fill this range. Yes, that's right, Maverick. That's right.
okay i i see that i had the text of aud usd trade still on the screen but i just got rid of it people got confused when that trade was taking but it was from yesterday's got rid of that Okay, let's see. Looks like the only break we're gonna have is gonna be EJ. Gonna wait and see what happens. The whole week was pretty, pretty much uh, consolidation. We'll see the rest of the week how it's going to continue, but we didn't have big moves on this week. All this move that happened on GA still came back and stuck in this range. Didn't manage to continue that way. Now we'll see. Can I have a good breakout on EJ? 7 8 pips would be nice. Okay, waiting for the one hour to c close.
Okay, almost there. And just three minutes left. Trying to find a middle zone on GA, but it's too many rejections. We have rejections here, but previously we had rejections, some rejections here, so I don't know. Let's see, this candle looks pretty strong. To push and fill the range. <laughs> yeah, look at UJ. It hasn't moved at all. Still on the same place. One hour in, it only moved like two pips. Not even two pips. Was less. But just when you think that UJ is too slow, it makes a hundred pip move just like that and gives no retest. So you just have to watch and do nothing. Let's see, EJ now can be the next trade. Gonna wait for this candle to close, a small pullback and continuation. Unless it decides to make a fake out maybe. Now this, this is not good, this rejection. The breakout's gonna be too weak. See now, this candle closed above, but the breakout is only 3.5 pips. That's really that's not very convincing, you know. Let me see how many pips I can use as my stop here. The less, the better. Okay, so I'm gonna take a buy here on EJ and I'll tell you what to do now. So it's gonna be small risk just because the breakout is very weak to be honest and I'm gonna use only five pips stop loss so let me see so for my entry yeah it's gonna be only six pips stop loss just below the breakout candle because I I don't trust this that much the breakout was too weak so I'm going to use small risk and only 6 pips stop loss.
if we can fill this wick with be around 10 pips I think that would be more than enough because we have a pretty strong resistance on the 4 hour at this level now we're just, let's just wait and see what happens with EJ maybe just filling this wick would be enough basically uh, this this would be a great trade if we had a better breakout but uh, a breakout of three four pips doesn't make you feel comfortable on that trade so we're gonna have to wait and see Okay, it's a good sign. It's pushing. Needs to push more. Wow, EJ went perfectly. Quick 10 pips. Let's see, maybe it pushes more. Gives us some more pips here. That's perfect. Okay, I am securing some profits here on EJ. Many pips we have. 13 pips, 13 pips. Moving my stop at break even. very nice push it went pretty pretty fast only been six minutes and we already had the move UJ yeah still creeping up UJ is UJ is boring Okay, the only reason I moved my stop at break even and I took some profits at 13 pips is because we have a very strong resistance on the 4 hour. It's a very strong resistance here. And we might have rejections here at this this zone. So that's that's why I I took some profits at 13 pips and moved my stop at break even.
just to protect your runner here we'll see if, if it's gonna go higher or not if this comes all the way down to our entry you know why why that happened got rejected from the four hour resistance So we're gonna have to wait and see. Looks pretty good actually. This might continue even more. Yeah, well, you're welcome. If you took it, congrats. It was a nice trade. yeah a row yeah you sent this chart thanks for the heads up nice one it was nice Let's see what EJ is going to do. Wow, GA. Just like I said should have taken this too knew that only a small pull, pull back end this was gonna fly based on this big push and a strong candle close also close above this middle zone so it made perfect sense see how many pips 20 pips easily EJ probably gonna stop me at break even. Let's see. Can you analyze GU? GU pushing. 
Nice. Finally, to just see a move on G, on U, uh, G, UJ, I mean. Yeah, I said about GU. We need to close ab below this support if we want sells. If we want buys, we need to wait for this resistance to break. If you break this, I think we have a nice range to fill to the upside. But we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. How do you identify stop loss? Stop loss depends on the setup. Okay, got stop on EJ at break even my runner. So now I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. So stop loss, if my entry is here, like we had, we need a stop loss below support. And this is the support, let's say, this is my, our support. Our entry is here. We need a stop loss below the support because this support is going to get tested, right? And we expect a move to the upside, just like it happened. Now, basically, also, I want my stop loss to be below the breakout candle because a lot of times, or most of the times, when price goes below the breakout candle, probably it's going to continue down that's from my experience so it needs to be below the support also below the breakout candle but not every time the breakout candle can be this close and also 20 pips is the maximum stop loss that I use there are a lot of times when I use less than 20 pips like I use only six pip uh, stop loss here and made 13 so that's great EJ can still continue but for me uh, the move was done seeing this big rejection is not a good sign because you take a look at the four hour you see this big resistance here so let's see maybe we're gonna have a break on GA hopefully Okay, I see a good setup on EA, I think, yeah. A very nice resistance here. If we break this, gonna expect a pretty big move to the upside always if we close above gonna wait for a close above might the same thing might happen on GA2 G uh, AUD pairs are looks like they are weak a bit now
I would say uh, cells are more cells are better on UJ. I don't see I don't see buys unless we break some kind of resistance or. Well, I think uh, daily should should drop from this zone here. It's gonna be like a daily retest too. See now on the four hour we are at resistance. If we break this resistance, we have another one coming up very shortly, which is not even ten pips. So we need to break our resistance if we want buys, and here not a very big range to take a trade let's take a look if we have any news today euro news in 40 minutes yeah carlos i will see doesn't say that we have high impact news but i'm going to go to investing because Forex factory is, is lying sometimes, not telling if the news are high impact or not. See, on For Forex factory is not showing high impact news. Yeah, we have high impact news. In 40 minutes, we'll see. Anyway, we would have to wait for the A to close um, if we want to take a trade. So basically, we have to wait for the same minutes. Can you see a trade on New Zealand JPY? Okay, just a second. GU dropped all the way down. Maybe we're gonna have a break, we'll see. Also GJ. If price comes all the way from here and closes below, that would be great. Confirmation also. NJ. New Zealand JPY, I would say, need to break this support if we want to move to the downside. Or maybe you're thinking about this. Guys, please, can, can you send charts? Because uh, I can't read your minds when you say, look at this. would be very good if you send some charts so I can have an idea for what you're talking about this will be pretty nice gonna wait and see
Okay. Yeah, as I said before, if we want to break on GU, we need to close below this zone here. Because, as I said before, we have 7 pips in between these two zones. So, if we close, I said, below this, we'd have this support here. So, the best is to close below this. Then we can have the retest. The retest might come a little higher to make it, to make to test this zone too, but then should continue down after that. So this is the price we need to break. 1.250. If we get a close below that, then it would be great. We have a pretty good range to fill to the downside if we do close below 50 pips. There's no traffic. will be a free ride to the downside yeah but let's see until we see that breakout there's no confirmation GA can give us a trade, maybe, yes, two. AUD is pretty weak right now. Yeah, UJ is so slow. Takes so much time to break a zone. Let's see, like I said before, if if GJ breaks on the same time with a GU, I would rather take GJ. It's clean once we break below this. Next target should be easily 132.900, 800. Can be very nice.
let's see. Uh, still, I still think it, I'm still thinking about Celt and USD JPY, but have to wait. Need more confirmation. Well, that I already having rejections, but it's not going to be enough. We need a better confirmation. We need a big candle, maybe a big bearish candle closing. Pretty good. I said before, closing below this would be great confirmation. And we would have a very nice range to fill. Would also be a daily wick fill, so still don't see daily going all the way up. Wouldn't make sense. The only thing about UJ is that it can take a lot of time. Okay, we have a chart here. Let's take a look. USD CAD. Well, looks pretty good actually. USD CAD looks pretty good. Let me take a look at my chart to USD CAD. So the thing about USD CAD is that we have another zone here, this middle of this consolidation. Let me clear this. But even this zone is good too because we have plenty of rejections. I think we can consider this as a good good zone to take buys if we get a break above. Yeah, plenty of rejections. Let's see. If this candle closes above, then the next one should retest and continue. Bob, if you want to see how I take trades and how I take entries and everything, I have a simulator session on my channel. You can watch that. It's a perfect example how I trade. And all these other live streams where I've taken a lot of trades. Yeah, I'm going to wait for USDCAD. Looks pretty sick. Okay, we have another chart. Let's take a look. Look, I've said before, Euro GBP is it's not a good good pair to trade. To be honest, I'm going to take a look at it, but still, I'm 
it's in this big consolidation box and yeah we have a zone here but I don't know how safe it would be to take a trade there personally I would stay away from that see ACAD made the move two times and now dropping four hour four hour was not a clean breakout one hour was a better breakout yeah gj let's see if it's gonna break or not gu way better drop here gonna wait and see It's not a break yet. Unless this candle closes, there's no breakout. Because you have plenty of time for this to go all the way up, make a big rejection. So you never know. You have to wait for candles to close. Candles are our confirmations. So we're gonna wait and see because a lot of setups coming you're just gonna have to decide which one to take USD CAD too we need a strong close six seven pips maybe that would be better yeah see what happened on the daily now we had this support on the daily and this bearish candle closed below the next candle pushed up closed back in the range now this today's candle made the retest and now it looks like it's going to continue up For us, we need to switch to one hour and see our level. Yeah, Carlos, I know we have another level on USD CAD, but I think this will be respected too. A lot of levels if it doesn't push to the next level before making the retest that would be great because next candle would make the retest and it would fill this range that would be enough for us not enough actually but should have uh, we will have to take profits earlier earlier than 20 pips Okay, it's pushing. Thing is, uh, there's a lot of time for this to continue more, and that's gonna be then some problems because price may come all the way up here and close even above this level. 
then we're gonna have problems to decide if we want to take this level or this one that's gonna be the problem there so we might have to skip this but until the candle closes we're gonna wait and see oh god GU is dropping a lot it's not gonna give us a chance to enter at all we need price to stay close to the support because next candle can just push straight on the side GJ is a bit closer let's see yeah a lot of pairs are moving now man we have a lot of setups coming just gonna have to choose pick and choose gu gj ea usd cad a lot of pairs are breaking we're starting to have some moves now that's great because we started to get bored market was too slow usd cat can break gj can break gu and ea they're all above and below the support or resistance levels and they're all gonna be strong breakouts so let's see we just don't want this to go further because then we're gonna mi miss gonna miss the moves EJ what happened with EJ forgot to see EJ all the way down that's what I said about about this resistance this was the main reason why I cut my profits at 13 pips I knew that this will happen oh let's see we might have a break of the support too man so many setups it's gonna be crazy wait and see EJ it's not still it's it's uh, it's not below the support so all other pairs are better fifteen minutes until the candle close okay let's take a look at the chart here Euro USD, it's better to stay out of Euro USD. It has a lot of zones in between. I would rather stay out of Euro USD. I would rather stay out see we have another zone just right here another zone here another one here too many zones it's too messy
now this what are we gonna do with USD CAD because USD CAD is breaking two levels now the problem will be if we want to take this level or this level because there's chances then that price can come to retest this level and this is a 15 pips zone here yeah we'll see we'll see we have better setups GJ and GU are way better Let's see. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be great, GJ, because once it makes the breakout closes like this, make the retest. First target is gonna be a wick fill on the one hour, and then gonna have gonna move lower. Yeah, I see the zone here, but it didn't come quite there. So let's see. A lot of rejections here big bearish candle after the retest should continue down we are gonna have a 10 20 pips quickly But this is not good. This big rejection is not good. Looks like Geo is going to be better.
Hold C. E A two. We need a good close on E A. Once we close above, we have a nice range to the upside. Gonna see. Let's see how many pips we need here from entry to below. So, in this case, the entry, uh, the, the stop loss I would use below support, that's for sure and below the breakout candle so now the breakout candle from the support to breakout candle we have 15 pips so there's no need for more because you see the the space it's from support to where the breakout candle started if, 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 if this next candle comes all the way down here you know that something's not right and price probably is going to continue down so that's where the stop loss makes more sense to put. But let's see. Looks like now all of them are rejecting and let's see if we're gonna have a breakout at all. I hope this wasn't of a, just a false move. Looks like UJ's paralyzed, yeah. Oh my god, UJ. So slow at the same place still. Looks like the safest one will be GU. That's GJ, big, big rejection. But we'll see. We'll see how it's going to close. Once we get the close, we will make a decision which one we want to take. Also, also USD CAD. We need to take a look at it. At it. Now, the thing about USD CAD is, we are closing above this zone, but we are getting rejected from this this zone here. Now, I don't know how safe it's gonna be, but. If we want to take this, uh, it's going to be a very small risk. Let me take a look on the 4 hour. Yeah, you see on the 4 hour too, we have a very strong zone here. And you see the move after we had the break and retest here all the way down. So we have to be very careful here. Let's see if we would take a trade here. yeah if we would want to take this maybe a seven pip stop loss would be enough here because once it goes below this there's no you can't expect too much from it so using a small risk small risk and a small stop loss here would be good because then this 
can go pretty far if he does respect the zone here. You can use 7 pip stop loss and 15, 15 pip take profit. That would be a good risk reward for this trade. Also, almost forgot, Euro news coming in 5 minutes. So, this may affect GBP news, uh, GBP pairs too. What, what the hell is this burger doing here? Now I'm hungry. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for Euro News to see if they're gonna have some effect on the market. Yeah, we'll see. USD CAD can be a very nice trade, like I said. GJ, it's not a good break. This, I'm not gonna feel comfortable taking a trade on this. GU, GU is way better. Yeah, I think GU is going to be the one. Euro AUD, it's going to be affected by the news. We're going to see what's going to happen here. We might have a big push, maybe, or, or a drop to downside. side. Going to have to wait and see. Okay, let's see. Four minutes. Okay, guys, the channel is growing very nice. We had a lot of people coming to watch the stream, and I'm very thankful for that. If you can, share it with your friends because a lot of good things coming up it's gonna be a lot better on the next few weeks Yeah, Carlos, uh, I think you're saying about this support on GU. Well, a lot of zones. I mean, you can have to make the decision. We just need to see which zone is better, which zone is stronger, so we can take our trade based on that zone. Let's see, two minutes, two minutes and we make a decision. USDCAD, like I said on USDCAD, I might take that, that setup I just said. So we'll see. Left a big wick, that's not a good sign, but uh, a close around here, a small pullback, we can go maybe for wick fill risk reward is pretty good in this trade I 
I think this is just as a minor zone on GU. Big drop, I think next candle should make a small pullback here and then go for another round to the downside. Let's wait and see. Okay. GU breakout, GJ breakout, Euro AUD breakout. Now EA is going to be affected by the news. See how it's moving. You know it by the movement. Okay, use the CAD. Just a little lower. And we'll have a look if we want to take a trade. Geo's coming up now. Let's take a look. Isn't Geo at four hour support? Look guys, there are a lot of different zones and uh, charts are a lot messy. It depends now whenever you want to take a trade or not, but we have a, a lot of zone. We just um, have to make sure which one is stronger and which one is a minor zone. So we'll see. And I hope this is not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a small buy on Euro AUD. I know there are news, but let's see. Maybe the news is gonna respect technicals. Okay, if I get faked out, I know why. So I'm gonna take the risk. Because there are a lot of times when, uh, when the news, you know, uh, just support the technicals and it just goes that way easily. Let's see, I have uh, 16 pips stop loss. Not using 20, because once it goes all the way down to this breakout candle, then there's no hopes in that trade. So we'll see. To take a look at the news. The news was good. Yes, it should be good to continue up. Let's see. 15 pip to 20 pip move would be great. So, because of the news, I'm using smaller risk too here.
Okay, GBP pairs, I don't know. I'm gonna see if G comes a little bit higher. I might take a cell. Needs to push higher. We have another, how many pips? Another 10 pips. Needs to push another eight pips so we can have that retest it's too early to enter right now let's see how e8 is gonna do Okay, EA, we need to push. We need a nice push to the upside. It's a good breakout. Because in normal conditions, this would be a great trade. And I would use the full risk I usually use, but unfortunately, because of the news, I had to use less risk. But maybe I'll get a big push and it, it makes me the same money. Okay, that's nice. Come on, another push like that. Only seven pips, we need we need a bigger push. Okay. The wick is almost almost filled. Okay. Needs to push more to go above this wick. Okay, that's very nice. Ten pips on EA. Okay, now since we have ten pips on EA. It's your choice. If you don't feel very comfortable, you can move your stop at break even and you can even take some profits. That's your choice now. Okay, very nice push. Very nice. Okay, 15 pips, let's go, what a nice trade. Yeah, it can fill that wick pretty easily. Yeah, let's go for 20 pips, 17. Another two pips, and we got 20 pips. I'm securing some here, just to be sure.
was perfect. Yeah, GU push down. We only needed a higher push here to take the cells. Didn't want to enter too early, but it was perfect too. Use the cat, perfect too. Just needed a lower to push this lower. Our setups all went perfectly. But, oh my god, look at GJ. Straight to the downside, no retest. Just like we expected. Anyway, we cast one of them, so that's great. EA was the best, the best out of all other setups there. very very nice trade today was great we had two trades two wins not a very slow day Yeah, maybe the news also helped uh, EA to push. The news was good, so it made sense. Another two pips and we have 20. He still needs to push higher. The only thing now uh, that's why I took at 18 pips I took some profits because we have we have resistance here and it might cause some problems so better take some profits and leave some runner yeah it's pushing now let's see once it goes above this there's no really traffic on the left can go all the way up we have pretty big range to the upside 80 pips 75 pips 70 pips yeah exactly 20 pips it was a good range here Oh God, let's see, it's pushing higher. This, this needs to go a lot more. This is just the beginning. USD CAD was perfect. We might break the zone too on USD CAD, who knows.
see very nice push on EA twenty seven pips oh that's a big rejection But now EA is can do whatever because we already closed most of our profits. It's only the runner now. I hope EJ closed below. Yeah, Tyler, let's take a look at EJ. EJ was pretty close to break but didn't. Yeah, we'll see if we get a close below on EJ we'll see maybe we'll take some cells after we have some big rejections GJ and GU We'll see. EA pretty big rejection from the upside from this four hour resistance here. And like I said, if this uh, this to continue up uh, needs to close above above this level. Once it closes above, we can see another push to the upside. But you can see how it's getting rejected you are welcome I'm really enjoying these these live streams. I hope they are helpful for you too. So let's see. So trades that are coming now that we can take, the one is EJ, GBP now, I don't know, they are already did the move, let's see what, what level can we expect to break here, I don't know, maybe this, this can be the next level we want to, we can take trade here 133 132.900 it can be a good one but uh, it's not as good as this one that we were waiting for unfortunately we didn't have a retest so for now for now not gonna take any trades on GJ let's take a look at the four hour yeah this can be a good level if we break but uh, maybe i would i would say to wait for the four hour to close below if we have a four hour breakout would be a lot better and way more comfortable to take it so we'll see it just needs to stay around here in the middle before making the move 
if we have a break here, we need a retest and continuation next zone. But if we get to this zone, then comes for retest, that's not good. That's more risky. And yeah, let's see. USD CAD. Uh, let's see. So USD CAD, if we want to take a trade on USD CAD, we need to close above this level. See, we, we already have two rejections. We need to close above this. It's a four hour uh, resistance. So this is the middle zone of this big consolidation box. So we have to be careful. And this is the middle zone. I've said before, every consolidation box it has a middle zone. So the middle zone here on USDCAD is this. And if we want to take a trade to the upside, we need to wait for a break of the zone. Once it breaks, you can expect a nice push to fill this range to pretty, pretty easily. We'll see. See. see if EA is going to continue more. Still has way to go. If it does stay below this, then it might come again to the support. It's pretty big support here, uh, resistance here. It's pretty big. It needs we need a big push to to break this and a close above.
see news today other than euro yeah you have we have crude oil later on and uh, nothing much except that crude oil news it can have some effect on CAD so be careful if you're trading CAD at that time just so you know it was a really nice fake out yesterday on EA I had some sales after this breakout I took a, uh, a loss here yesterday on EA then I didn't take the fake out because it was a four hour uh, uh, four hour break too but even after the four hour closed back in the range we had a very nice fake out and you can see all the way up even, we, even it came all the way up still came back down tested this another time and went up again now we have this breakout the retest pretty nice trade here Do you ever do the break and retest on in indexes? Uh, no, I don't. I don't because uh, indexes are don't move only based on uh, technicals. Uh, fundamentals have a big role, play a big role, big part on indexes. So let's take a look at US 30 and the zones for me are not that clear. See we have these big wigs here and this is what I don't like. Like I said, you should have more comf uh, more more information about it. You have you need a lot more information on uh, fundamentals to know because a lot of moves are made based on fundamentals. Yeah, maybe a break retest here. The uh, thing is, you need to make a lot of back testing on indexes if you want to see how it moves. I haven't done for personally a lot of back testing. I used to trade them before, but now not that much. So today, let's say we have support here, and uh, basically, basically on other pairs, I would like a break below this and retest and continuation. So I'm gonna back test this today and see if it's gonna work. And then I'll let you know if it did work or not.
Okay, someone is asking, is GJ a good entry for sell now? No, it's not. Uh, I said before, GJ now there's no, no setup. The breakout didn't, uh, the retest didn't happen after the breakout. So we leave this alone. And you can see this big rejection, it's coming from support here. And we said that if we want to take a trade here, we need to close below the support on the four hour. We need a four hour break below this. If we want to take a trade on GJ. And if we want to take a trade on EJ, we need to close below this. It's rejecting from, uh, from, uh, for now, but we'll see if we get a good break, we might give this a shot. You're welcome. Looks like EA is gonna stop me at break even. My runner. We'll see. Big rejection, like I said, from this four hour resistance. But it gave us some nice pips. See the four hour. Now this might might be a four hour breakout too on the next hour, so we'll see. So many rejections here. If the four hour closes above these, we can take another entry. But we have to wait for the four hour to close. Once the 4-hour closes also, then we will see, maybe we'll take another entry. But for now, it looks like my, stop, my runner is going to get stopped. If you take a look at ADSD. Yeah, USD cat uh, dropped again, got rejected from this. So for USD cat too, we need a break above. Don't forget. Wow, UJ big drop. I didn't see this. When did this happen? But big rejection. This is what I was waiting for uh, on UJ, a big drop, but looks like it got rejected pretty big. See, like I said, we need to close below this if we want to continue and fill this range to the downside. And it got rejected again. I don't know, it's, this still can continue down. It's making this second retest here on the 4 hour. Yeah, we'll see. Man, I just want to take some salt on UJ. I 
daily looks so good to go bearish. Okay, so here here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enter a cell here. I'm gonna put myself just above the this current candle. That's gonna be around five pips stop loss. So this candle was the second retest on the 4 hour, you can see, you can see the retest on the 4 hour and we had this big drop, now it got rejected but yeah I'm just going to take a small sell here, a small stop loss of 5 pips in case if it drops I'll catch the move small stop loss no need for more because if this goes bullish then there's no hope that's gonna go down even though it still can as long as it stays below this on the four hour then there's chances of continuation always We'll see, it's going to be a small risk because I already had two wins before. So, nothing major here. I just don't want to miss the move if it starts to continue down. Because uh, a good confirmation, like I said before, for this would be to close above, uh, below uh, one, 106.450. A close below this would be a perfect confirmation but as long as it stays below this it's safe to continue down but once we close above this resistance then we might consider buys even though I'm, I'm not gonna look for buys just because of the daily not gonna look for bias here at all until I see a daily breakout to the upside yeah maybe it's gonna start to move on New York session London for UJ was pretty slow wow this is a big rejection on GJ all the way up a big rejection GJ is rejecting this daily support here see how big the rejection was it's coming from the daily support that's why we want the retest to come to come right away not after it makes the move because it's always risky big rejections no no trade maybe on gj if we close above this resistance we might uh, we might have a break and retest to the upside but uh, other than that there's no trade in this range for me on gj it's been a while since i took a trade on gj it's not giving me too many setups lately 
So we'll have to see. Look, GJ is pretty volatile. It's, you have to be careful taking it. Uh, the only reason why it's been a while since I took a trade on GJ because uh, it's not been like it's not giving me safe setups here. See, it did a break below, but didn't make a retest, even though it made the move that we expected. GJ is. Uh, better lately at New York session. Even New York session was too slow lately. Basically, it's no good trades on New York session. It's been arranging and arranging most of the time. EJ still Still at the support needs to close below if we want to take anything here. But I'm gonna have to wait and see. So two trades today, two wins. UJ, let's see what's gonna happen with it. I'm not Maybe it's lately I've been uh, making some good wins on uh, London and didn't I don't even have the need to trade New York session. I mean, if you win on London session two wins, there's no need to trade anymore. But not everyone can trade London, so. They need a trade on New York session, so I'm always active during the London and New York session.
you know this this trade can be epic you know the risk reward here is crazy see I only used five pips stop loss it's already five pips in profit another five pips and we have ten we have 40 pip range 50 pip range to the downside which can be filled easily it only can take some time usually 20 pips and I put my stop at break even but it always depends what we have on the left if we have a clean traffic then 20 pips has to be first then we move our stop at break even but we if we have a zone on the left at 10 pips or 15 pips then we secure most at that point and we move our uh, stop at break even why because there's a chance we might get uh, a rejection from that zone Yeah, today was great, one of the best streams. You know, though usually we're having the same wins, two, one, two wins per session. Today was great. We'll see, next candle maybe, make a small pullback on UJ, then drop. Yeah, GJ, thing is, if GJ stays below this, the next candle can continue down too.
man if you if you've seen my other live streams I've talked about gold and how far it can go it was this candle here and it was around here making the retest and we looked back and I think on the weekly yeah there's no traffic all the way up here no traffic for gold it's a free ride to the upside it's gonna push a lot more and uh, I said just uh, on this candle here when I saw this break and retest on the daily there was no stop for, for gold it was a free ride no there was no traffic on the left it's straight to the upside see because we had this big consolidation on the daily it was stuck for so much here then we had this breakout and the retest you can see how big the move now is. Man, this is crazy. I just discovered your channel. Will you be doing more live videos? Yeah, I will. Welcome to the channel. I will be doing other live streams too. EA is starting to push again. Next candle may continue up. But like I said, we need to close above this level if we want another push to the upside. UJ. UJ is good. Let's see a next candle, small pullback, then continuation to the downside. Uh, you are new here and uh, just so you know we don't trade indexes here but I said before I'm gonna do some back testing I'm gonna do some back testing and see if we can we can do the same with indexes but I don't know why guys trading them I mean you need a lot of information about them trading forex pairs is a lot better currencies and a lot easier than them because you have more information more uh, there are news that uh, you can, you know when to you know when to have to be careful trading them you have news uh, there are a lot of unexpected news that can affect uh, indexes let's see uj needs another five pips and uh, we can take some profits and leave this run EA buys above 1.63250. Yeah, we'll see. I'm just waiting for the candles to close and I'll give you some ideas about your session. Because for me, I'm, I'm already done 
don't think I'm gonna take many more trades. Already three trades now. Two wins and this UJ is running. Gonna have to see. EA. Yeah, like I said, EA needs to close bullish on the four hour above this resistance. And once this happens, we'll see maybe another entry on the four hour. How did you enter UJ in the middle of everything? I entered UJ based on the four hour retest. If you go to the four hour, you can see this would be my entry usually on the four hour and she would be here but it was the second retest and I didn't want to take it I wanted for a better confirmation and when this candle dropped I saw an opportunity to get in so I took a position and I think this should continue down more and I'm only using a 5 pip stop loss so the risk reward is pretty good like I said, this should make a small wick and continue down. We'll see if that happens. Also, like I said, daily has a big wick, needs to fail that. Now let's take a look at EA. EA has a four hour breakout too now. Yeah, it needs to come lower and we can take another entry on EA. Just so we clean the chart, but again, you have to use a small risk because we have another zone resistance that got rejected. But this support looks pretty strong. Needs to reject at least like 10, 20 pips. So we'll see, needs to come lower here if you want to take an entry. UJ is starting to push down, let's see. Okay, let's take a look at EJ also because forgot that it was at support trying to break below EJ. Yeah, no breakout on EJ. 
No breakout still, closed above. Okay guys, so you can wait for EA to come lower. You can take some buys, use small risk because it's getting rejected from resistance. USD JPY is still there. I don't expect it to to move that much, so yeah, EJ also needs to close below. And yeah. That's it. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go now. And I hope this was helpful for you, as always. I hope you took some information from this that can help you in your trading journey. And uh, tomorrow we will be back again, same time. Same time we'll be here. If this was helpful for you, leave a like and subscribe and a lot more good things coming up if you want to see them stay stay close to us have a nice day and uh, use good risk management don't risk too much always this this business is always to be to be here for the next day doesn't matter what what happens today the next day can be a lot better thank you all thank you for being here have a nice day see you